Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wapai Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I am joined with the lovely Jolene. Hello. Aren't you excited to be back? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> it has been exactly four days. Three yeah. days. Yeah. Like a number of days. It's been a couple. I don't know. I feel like I have time blindness sometimes. Like, I, I, I know time has passed, but I don't know how much, you know? Yeah, it's almost May. So. Yeah. Or at, at least at the time of recording, but... Yeah. But, uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, fuck, what happened? I'm trying to remember. Okay, the wheel was spun, and it went in the... It was on my choice, and we spun it again, and it landed on my choice again. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So we might as well read more of the box extra reader because, like, you, you know how I am about TV men. They're really cool. <laughs> yeah, definitely making out with the television screen. <laughs> Real cool. I would never do that. You ain't catching me slacking on this channel. I see you with your monitor. I see the way you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the character. My monitor. <laughs> Thanks, Jillian. I'm glad you think so highly of me. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate. It. This is why you're my best friend. You, you give it to me straight. <laughs> and uh, we're Much back love. with the uh, with the X the the Vox X reader that is literally just called the Vox X reader. And uh, chapter four, quite the party. And this chapter contains mentions and uses of alcohol. Viewer discretion advised. Ooh. This is this is too scary, Jolene. I don't think we should read it. <laughs> oh well. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, everyone. Join <laughs> <laughs> in for the next Wattpad book club reading. Shout out to Astro Gummy. Yeah. <laughs> next reading, Garlic Bread X Reader. <laughs> Not gonna lie, when they showed up in chat, I was literally like Star Trek. I'm just like, oh my god, it's the Astro Gummy. Yeah. <laughs> No, genuinely, I genuinely was. Because yeah. I'm just like, you You talk about them all the time, and I'm just like, oh my god, they're real? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Like, I'm actually the Astro Gummy this whole time. It's a, a different account. <laughs> That'd I'm be actually... really cool, but but no, it's just like you talk about them all the time, and I've never I've never heard from I've never seen them. Yeah, well, they're all I've the way in... I've uh, never in their presence. They're, they're all the way in Michigan, so... <laughs> so, so uh, you don't, I don't really get to see them either. <laughs> Hopefully one day they'll come to insert state <laughs> to come by and, and, and we, can, we can we can have a hug or maybe hold platonically hands, you know. But <laughs> that's that's a different. thing. Why do you have to put in platonic? <laughs> like, because I, I don't want people taking shit out of context. Everything's platonic love, except with Cameron. That that's real. Love. <laughs> that's real. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit right there. <laughs> Alright, I have this and weird you... looking coin. It's from Canada. That's what makes it weird. So, uh, do you want me heads or tails? Heads. Oh, right. <clears throat> it's tails. Oh, I'm God, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think I'm making it up? I would never. It lands no, no, on no. tails. I know, but I, my brain's like, it's gonna land on tails. Damn. <laughs> you predicted it was not gonna land on you. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's see if I learn how to read today. I butchered some reading when I was doing, uh, like, my, my black to, um, black to Nuzlocke earlier. I could not read for the life of me, so let's see if I regain some, uh, brain cells in that time. <laughs> you got a little practice on this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we yeah we had a failed recording in two ways. One, it was interrupted and we had to cut it off, so we had to redo it. And also, none of Jolene's voice was picking up at all, so it just looked like I was talking to myself. I said we should have kept it because it'd been funny. Yeah, POV. And then like halfway through, my voice comes through. Yeah, POV. I have schizophrenia. <laughs> just, like, no. Now. Alright, what a, quite the party. Alright, let's see. When I told you to find me a pretty model, I didn't mean her, Velvet says, pointing at me. I stood slightly behind Vox. He was also, almost protecting me from her. Velvet, there's no time. It's either Gwen or no one. You pick. I smile awkwardly. 
It's not even like I want to be a model or even know how, but this is a good opportunity for Velves and I to get closer. Okay, whatever. Gwen, go on and try these dresses, she, she says, snapping her assistants towards her, who hand me three dresses. I turned to Vox, unsure if he had picked the right girl for this job. Velver said she was looking for a pretty girl and... Wait, does, does Vox think I'm pretty? <laughs> Tucks hair behind ear. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> I know you very well. I quickly snap out of it and resume listening to Vox and Velvet Bicker. I stand, I stand up tall, trying not to seem intimidated by Velvet. She is very spunky, and it's a bit much for me. I say I'm a very low-key person, and Velvet is very opposite. I take the dress and put it on. If they fit like a glove, a fuck, a, did I say a gun? <laughs> what the fuck did no, I you said a glove. Okay, it didn't sound like that when it came out of my mouth. <laughs> it fit like a glove and hugged me on all the right places. Not bad, Gwen. You look good, she admits. Okay, now get on the stage and show me what you can do. I wish I had a cat walk scene. <laughs> <laughs> but we underestimate how far the catwalk goes and we just go, what? And we just, <laughs> just Face fall. Up. Yeah. She's like, oh my fucking god, this show's gonna be ruined. <laughs> I'll admit, I left rehearsal feeling pretty confident in my abilities. All of my dresses fit nicely. As I walk back to my house, I'm greeted with a I am greeted with a big grin. Hello, Gwen. How are you today? Alistair steps in front of me, blocking my view of the sidewalk. Alistair and I had a bit of a past. With kind of past. <laughs> I, did, I did some work for his radio show while I was still trying to build up my, na my company. He was good to me, and I appreciate all he's done for me. Long time no see. I'm well. How about you? I say, linking ours with him, continuing to my headquarters. I'm doing so well. I'm doing good as well. What have you been up to, my dear? He asks. Mostly working, I reply. He laughs with the same grin plastered on his smug face. Same old Gwen. I can never- I see nothing's changed, he laughs. Sinners see the two of us in cower and fear. I would too if I saw two extremely powerful overlords walking down the street. You don't want to piss off Alistair. I want to tell him about my time spent with Vox, but knowing that they are enemies, I refrain. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Vox, doesn't, I, Vox doesn't talk of Alistair, but everyone knows that they're enemies. I sometimes catch Vox listening to his radio show. I don't dare say anything. I love that in this universe, like, it's complete opposite where Vox is secretly a fan of Alistair's radio show, and he actually does not talk about Alistair, where it's very much opposite. <laughs> Here you are, my dear. I look over to my left and see my tower. I want a, I want a tower. <laughs> I'll call it. We have one. Yeah. I, I, oh, you're I gonna call it tilted tower? Yeah, it gets so tilted. The tower of pizza. Oh, that's so genius. If I ever get a YouTube headquarters, I want it to be a tower. <laughs> I, it's like the uh, what's that building in Washington State? That's in like Seattle. I want that. That's gonna be oh. my tower. <laughs> Nice, nice. I don't even know what that building's for. <laughs> it just looks cool. Uh, here. Here I am. I smile, walking towards the door. See you soon, he says. Good night, Alistair, I reply, opening the door and slipping inside. Miss Gwen, you have a letter from Miss Carmine, Ember says, passing me a red envelope. Strange. Why is Romilla sending me a letter? I head to my bedroom, carefully rip the letter open. Dearest Maya, I mean Gwen, <laughs> you have <laughs> formally been invited to the Carmilla Carmine's Overlord Ball tonight. Have we never been invited before? If we're that powerful, how come we haven't been invited before, you know? <laughs> we're always working. Yeah, they're like, can't. Workaholic. Oh my god, that is I confirmed us. workaholics go to hell. <laughs> yeah, it's a sin. That's the eighth sin. <laughs> Would that be classified as greed because you're working yourself so much so you can get money? Um, I wouldn't say so. But I mean, I feel like when you're working a ton, you're neglecting a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to think what sin that would go under. That's, that's probably just, that's probably a TED talk for another day. The letter went on to state what to wear, when, and when the ball would take place, blah blah blah. I thought for a second. 
What would I even wear? I don't need fancy dresses or nice shoes. The nice clothes I own are my work clothes. I don't usually go to fancy dinners or parties, but I guess that now that I'm moving up the ranks, I'm going to have to start. I decided to call Velvet to see if she would help me find an outfit, so I pick up my phone and dial the numbers of the V's headquarters. Hello? Yes, who is this? Gwen, I need to talk to Velvet. Oh my gosh, she's gonna call us poor. She's gonna look at her fucking wardrobe and be like, who the fuck picked this out for you? Were you blind when you were shopping for clothes? <laughs> it's literally just gonna be t-shirts and jeans. <laughs> Are you that's, that's fun of my fit right now? <laughs> no, no, I'm thinking about like, you know, if you work construction, because we have a construction company, yeah. that you're just gonna be in like t-shirts and jeans. <laughs> They're gonna be like neon too. Yeah. Neon t-shirts. Okay. Gotta care about safety and hell. Yeah, yeah, POV, my my dad going to work because <laughs> he does construction. That's exactly what he wears. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Soon enough, Velvet was over in my bedroom, tearing my closet apart. No, no, no. God, Gwen, everything you own is shit. I'm going to have to make you a dress right now. She rolls her eyes and snaps. Suddenly, I'm in a gorgeous floor-length navy blue silk dress. You know what that scene kind of <laughs> reminds me of? It reminds me of fucking, like, like Cinderella, you know, when the fairy godmother, she's like, boop, and then, like, mm -hmm. Cinderella's in this beautiful gown. It's kind of like, like, like that, but she's like, oh my god, you look like a fucking mess. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I'm speechless. The dress hugs me in all the right spots. The cut is absolutely perfect. How can Velvet just pull this shit out of thin air? It's gorgeous, Velv. Thank you. I give her a hug and continue to admire myself. Who am? Who am I? I've never seen myself so dressed up. Of is that how I? I feel like that's how I feel when I get dressed up for occasions. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, who is that bitch in there? <laughs> Could you help me with my shoes and hair as well? I sit down in my uh, vanity and begin my makeup while Velves does my hair. And I gotta say, she's very talented. My hair is braided along the side of, of my head, meeting the back in a low bun. Gwen, Velvet says while finishing up my hat, my halt. <laughs> hmm? I can see why Vox likes you so much. You're fun and pretty, and you're one hell of a model. Oh my gosh, she said the line! <laughs> Does Vox say that about me? Does he say anything? So many unanswered questions. Thank you, Velvet. I try. I laugh, standing up and looking in a full body mirror. Wow, thank you so much. She laughs. I gotta get back and help the boys get ready. You look amazing. See you at the party. She blows me a kiss and leaves the room. I can't help but think about Vox. You know what? Me too, bitch. I can't help to think about it either. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be down bad some other time. I get to be down bad later when I uh, when I stream me writing fan fiction. <laughs> As I pull up to Camilla's house, I see paparazzi flashing cameras and screams, and screams various uh, wait as various overlords step out of their cars and walk into the house. I can't help but feel a little overwhelmed. I step out of my car and I'm immediately bombarded with questions. <laughs> what is it true that you're the fourth V? Is it true that you and Vox are an item? Did you sell your soul to Vox? <laughs> Many stupid questions were thrown at me, but I keep my head cool and smile while opening the door to Camilla's house. Gwen! You look wondrous, Alistair says, pulling me into a hug. Nice to see you again, Al, I say. You look charming, I say, looking up at him, looking up and down. Alistair has always had an eye for style. Yeah, he's wearing like the same red suit, but it's like a different bow tie. <laughs> He's like, I gotta dress up for the occasion. <laughs> My goal for tonight was to keep Alistair and Vox as far away from each other as possible. I want tonight to go well, so I hope they will be civil. Me too. Yeah, I hope, I that hope nothing bad will happen. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that was crazy that you would assume that this is gonna happen. <laughs> As soon as the thought enters my head, the V's walk into the ballroom. My head spins at Alistair's face to the door. Valentino's wearing a velvety red suit and dress pants with a gold chain. I'll have to admit, he looked great. Velv wore a short but puffy deep burgundy dress with long red boots. And Vox, a neat- this, we don't describe, <laughs> it's just a suit. <laughs> Everyone else got like, uh, he was wearing all this cool shit and then Vox is just in a navy suit, alright. 
we were matching. Damn, Velvet, you know exactly how to make me blush. <laughs> Immediately, Vox and I make eye contact. He grins at me, but notices Alistair and begins to walk over. Ah, oh, shit! My one goal to keep them apart is ruined! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, who would have guessed? Oh shit, maybe we shouldn't have been close to them, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, Gwen, you look sunny, he says, taking my hand and kissing it, paying no mind to Alistair. Vox, it's been a while, Alistair says, commanding our attention. I can tell where this conversation is headed. Alistair is trying to pick a fight. Alistair, looking old as ever, he scoffs. I smile awkwardly in the middle of the tense moment. Sorry, Alistair, but I have to take our dear Gwen now, he says, taking my hand and leading me to the- Oh, fuck yes! <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I don't know how to dance, but I'll fucking try my- <laughs> I let go of my, of my breath. Glad that Vox didn't start anything. I'm glad he didn't let his hatred win. Care for a dance? He says, reaching out his hand. <laughs> I, um, I stutter. I'm a terrible dancer. He takes my hand, sending goosebumps in my arms. That's alright, I can show you, he says, placing my hands around his neck and settling his on my waist. I look down at our feet, trying to match Vox's movements, but lightly stepping on his toes every now and then. I start to laugh a bit and rest my head on his chest. <laughs> These damn shoes hurt my feet. I whisper in his ear. He laughs. Does he have ears? He's a TV. <laughs> Into his mic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's how he picks up sound around him. Oh god. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> damn. And they're like, when he speaks, this comes out of like the speakers around <laughs> the fucking TV set. <laughs> You gotta like connect. You gotta, you know, those old TVs that have like the little wires, the, mm -hmm. the, the red, orange, the red, yellow, and white. Yeah, you gotta yeah. connect a microphone there. Oh my, <laughs> that's not. That's actually like his he, he tie and whatnot. It's like that. <laughs> it's the little mic. So he doesn't want to listen to you. Just connected. Yeah. <laughs> he just plugs the wires out of his side. Like, oh, thank God, I'm not gonna <laughs> listen to these fucking people anymore. <laughs> All right, let's uh, fuck. Uh, he laughs. Let's go and socialize. Get your feet a break? People want to know about our company, he says, standing still now. I nod, and he leads me away. We danced for like five seconds. Get your fucking shit together, woman. Were we? <laughs> also, I feel like Velvet would not make shoes, like, give us shoes that would hurt our feet. I'm just saying. We are in hell, though. I guess you're right. They actually have, like, razor blades. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Broken glass. Yeah. Every time yeah, every time we step it feels like we're stepping on broken glass because we are. I look over my shoulder and see Alistair and Rosie dancing. I feel a stare burning into my core. He must not be pleased seeing me with Vox. I mean, I would be pleased seeing myself with Vox. I'm not gonna just say it, okay. I Vox and I walk <laughs> over to <laughs> and talk amongst the other overlords, but I think back to the question the paparazzi asked. Are you and Vox an item? The word is ringing my ears. Vox is blabbering on about the company to anyone who will listen, but I can't help but think. What are we? He holds me close, dances with me, kisses me, but he's also cold and stern. I'm confused. I feel like I'm just a toy. Something that, something for when he gets bored. I shake my head, sucking these thoughts and looking at Vox, who is talking to Carmilla. I wonder what like, Carmilla's fit is. If she hosts a ball, she gotta have like the pretty. She's gotta I be like the she... prettiest girl at the party right now. <laughs> <laughs> she better be. I want to see her with her hair down like that and like a nice like like sharp pointy dress. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Maybe like mm -hmm. pure angelic steel because she has like the the like the shoes that are entirely made out of it. Might as well get like the whole fit. You know. <laughs> Oh, fuck, where did I leave off? I'm- <laughs> Oh, yeah, here. He's talking passionately about work and the expansion of the company. I smile softly, letting my worries go. Miss Gwen, would you- would you like to dance? Alistair says, sneaking up on me. I have to say, I was a bit startled. Fox starts mid sentence and pulls me closer- Ooh, okay. <laughs> no, she doesn't feel like dancing. I pull my arm away from his grip. He's jealous. It's cute, but also annoys me a little bit. I love to, I say, smiling. 
I'll be right back, Fox, I say, licking arms with Alistair. We dance in silence for a little bit until Alistair speaks in his radio voice. Wait, he wasn't doing that this fucking whole time? <laughs> That's his fucking signature, he's always sound like that. <laughs> You're working with Vox Tech now? You're always so independent. How could this happen? He asks, hiding a slight chuckle. I roll my eyes, remembering my drunken self and my sloppy signature. Long story, I reply. I always thought we would end up as partners, my dear, he says. Alistair and I might be friends, but I always knew in the back of my mind he was dying to strike up a deal with me. Could he be trying that now? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it in. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say to that sentence. While searching for an answer, Alistair cuts off my train of thought. Lux can't be trusted, Gwen. He's going to screw you over. All he cares about is money and power. He says, looking me dead in the eyes. The intensity of this eye contact sends shivers up my spine. I appreciate your concern, Al, but I'm positive nothing will happen. I'm strong. I can take care of myself. I, I say, as I, not just like beginning of chapter, I signed away my company to this man. <laughs> take care of myself, my ass. <laughs> the cap. I look over my shoulder at Fox. We make eye contact. And he quickly. Looks away, sipping a glass of champagne. Oh my god, there's the use of alcohol. I can't. <laughs> I'm triggered. Do you need a drink? No. Actually, I actually have water. That's all I have. Oh my god, look at you. Drinking water. I'm proud of you. Thanks. It's Cameron's. He left it in here and I was thirsty. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, ch it's champagne. Yeah, yeah. I can really use a drink right now. Alistair slowly turns my chin towards his face, locking eyes at me again. You know, Gwen, you don't need him. With you by my side, we can take over hell. We'd be the most powerful demons. People would bow down to us. Okay, now I'm uncomfortable. This conversation got weird and power-hungry fast. I never been one to possess- Oh, one to obsess over power. I like my little construction business until it grew and grew into a huge organization. Which, don't get me wrong, I love it. But I'd be just as happy without all the power. Being an overlord isn't all that amazing. And people trying to make deals with me like this is just one of the cons. Alistair, I... I feel a hand wrap around my arm, pulling me f away from Alistair. <laughs> She's not interested, Vox says, grinning his teeth. I feel my heart start to beat faster and faster, but I wasn't sure why. She can answer for herself, Alistair says. I, I look around me. Some people have stopped dancing and start staring. I wanted to, s to sink down to a little ball and hide. How embarrassing. <laughs> Always trying to take what's mine. Like I said, she isn't interested, Box says, getting in front of me. Trying to intimidate Alistair. His fists are bald and his shoulders are tense. He was royally pissed off. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's like, <laughs> it's like the fucking pick me girl thing. It's like, guys, stop fighting over me right now. Stop. What's the other one? It was like, I was like, Jason, this isn't you. Look at me. This isn't you. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, Vox, stop. I whisper in his ear. At this point, so many, so many more eyes are on us. I don't need to. I didn't need- I did not need to cause a scene, that's it. You think just because you got Miss Gwen over here you can beat me? Radio will never die. The sentence caused Vox to get even more pissed off. I could feel his anger. And I have to admit, I think he might try to beat the shit out of him. And just as I think, he sw- oh shit! <laughs> Yay, fight! My bet is on Alistair, I feel like he could take- <laughs> Honestly, yeah, my money is also on Alistair. Alright, <laughs> me and you sitting in the corner of the ball and be like, just betting, cheering. We're like, <laughs> we're like sitting under the table, stealing snacks from above. We snuck into this party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do not belong here. <laughs> <laughs> Vox, I yell as Alistair dodges the punch and laughs. Did I strike a nerve? He teases. They continue to bicker and Carmilla comes running over. Damn. <laughs> Gwen, Vox, you need to leave, she says, pointing to the door. She's like, there's the door, bitch. <laughs> yes, of But course. what about Alistair? Yeah, he fucking 
I guess because he didn't throw the first punch, I guess. Why did we have to leave? We didn't do it. <laughs> I guess we're like, we're Compulses. together by association now. Yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> We told him not to. He swung. He. It was like, I would argue. <laughs> like. <laughs> like no. <"Nuh> -uh. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm so sorry. I say dragging Vox out of the party. I decided it would be a good idea for us to walk home. Wow. We <laughs> we can't even take the limo back. Vox used the fresh air. What the fuck were you thinking? I feel myself boiling over. I have embarrassment and anger. I'm not a child, I can handle myself. I know how to say no. I rejected so many deals. This is just one more, I yell, trying to- Why are we t why are we crying? <laughs> trying to keep tears from swelling in my eyes. I guess anger? Okay, you can be so angry that you can cry, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I never felt so embarrassed, I admit. I feel bad immediately. I should have lost my cool on him. No, it, no, it's his fault. Why don't we apo- Girl. <laughs> the self-doubt in this bitch is immense that we're apologizing for us getting kicked out when it wasn't our fault. <laughs> Fox. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I say, looking over at his face. He looks as if he's drowning out my words, hiding how he truly feels. I get it, Gwen. Alistair just- He just- He barely manages to choke out the words. More guilt washes over it. Why are we guilty? <laughs> I know. Wow. I shouldn't have yelled. Let's just go home and get some rest, I say. Desperately needing a drink. Wow, she, she didn't even get that drink. <laughs> what the f- Dang. Uh, we reached my headquarters and I, and I let out a deep sigh. Good night, Vox, I say. Swiftly and suddenly, Vox oh, grabs his- Wraps his oh fuck. Fox wraps his hands around my waist, pulling me close and kissing me tenderly. He puts her lips apart and stares into my eyes. Good night, Gwen. Damn, this is a fucking long ass shadow. I'm wearing like 27 minutes. It's only like what? 20 something thousand words? Yeah, uh, 2,300. I mean, 2,000. Yeah. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Alright, lights out. This can't be good. Did we get, like, clocked over the head, or did, like, the power go out? <laughs> Whatever it is, I hope it's good. Yeah, me too. Okay, there's no warning, so this this is good for you to read. No one uses Okay, alcohol. perfect. <laughs> Give me, like, two seconds. I need this ad to pass. <laughs> Buy a Toyota today! Is that is that the ad? It's actually for Tetris. <laughs> It's a Tetris type game. The blisters on my feet rubbed against my sparkled heels while I walked down the stage, striking a pose once I reached the end. I liked modeling for Velves. I never, I never thought that I'd actually be enjoying this. I'm not really the modeling type. Attention wasn't really my thing, and being put on stage changed me. I was a totally different person. I'm okay with that. We had hours until the show, and poor Velvet was a bit on edge. She swore something was missing. She ran around the stage, and I walked trying to figure out what the thing was. I just ignored her and carried on. I was informed an hour ago that Vox and Valentia would be attending. So I thought of Vox watching me model put butterflies in my stomach, and I felt like I needed to impress him. I wanted to, him to leave thinking, holy <laughs> shit, she's hot. <laughs> you know, I didn't care too much about Valentina, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? I said, me too, bitch. I want to think that. <laughs> every, moment, every moment since last night, I thought of our kiss. I, should, I wish we could be together every second. I craved his touch. I needed him. As much as I pushed for feeling down, it just came back stronger. I can't just let go of these feelings for Fox. He might be my business partner, but I feel so much more for him than just being his his partner. When I'm around him, I feel happy, calm, and almost as if my worries wash away. I know I say this every time we kiss, but I can't shake this feeling we're meant to be together. I walk back to my dressing room with a bit of- with a big fat smile on my face and a bit of food before I change into my next dress. I hadn't done much 
much of my makeup, so I decided to start doing it now. After about 20 minutes, I finish. The door slowly opens, and Ember comes running in. Miss Gwen, you have a visitor, she says as Vox emerges from behind the door. Vox, I said, putting down my makeup and standing up, shaking his hand. I should have hugged him or kissed him, but I stayed professional in front of Ember and shook his hand. Of course, Ember knew all about our relationship, but Vox didn't know, need to know that. Every time we pretty much looked at each other, I ran to tell her. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Ember, do you mind giving us a moment? Ember nods and leaves, closing the door behind her. Vox slowly walks up to me, taking my hand. You look stunning, he says, bringing me closer and kissing me on the cheek. I felt my face become burning hot. Why is he so touchy all of a sudden? He always confused me, but I didn't really care. I wanted him to be close to me. I wanted to be held by him and kissed by him, and I didn't care what kind of relationship we had. I'm excited for the show tonight, he whispered in my ears. A smile spread across my face. I love when he whispered to me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your thoughts and feelings. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like cackling. I don't know why. That, that's what broke me. Was <laughs> <laughs> I am too, I whisper back, placing my hands on his shoulders and slowly sliding them down, sliding them back down to his hands. I felt his body <laughs> shudder a bit. Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, need, I need to sit in the corner. <laughs> I'm too. I, I might sit in here, just like, I feel like, like, you know when you're recently really cute and you're like kicking your feet and doing like little hand motions and doing like those, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> This made me smile. His body has a nice, this nice, warm buzz. Oh my god, the warm buzz of a television when you vibrates. <laughs> That's not what they meant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think of it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which felt so nice like in the, my hands. It's like the humming of the, like the when, like the monitor runs, or like well, it's like when the hum of like a, a computer running. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> For a second, we make the sweetest eye contact, but it quickly turns. He looks down at our shoes. I watch as many emotions flow across his face. I'm not sure what the sudden moon change was. Did I do something? I watch as some kind of realization soars through his now lightless eyes. The, the eyes a minute ago were filled with such joy. What's wrong? I ask as he pulls his hands away. I'm starting to get a bit worried. Last time he was like this, he yelled at me. I didn't want that to happen again. I can't face rejection that I did. I can't face the rejection I did a week ago. He and I have gotten too close, and I want him closer. I'm worried I'll lose him. Gwen? Yes? Uh, last night. Our kiss. I don't think this is a good idea. Alistair, he... I just... We can't do this. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. It's not we literally had like a one night stand. What do you mean? This is stupid. <laughs> He's stupid. Yeah, yeah, you know, yes, he is stupid. And then we were apologizing to him earlier over the actions he did. Yeah. Wow. Over his stupid. T yeah, exactly. You know what, Gwen? You're better off. Go with Alice. You know what? You know what? Yeah, Gwen. <laughs> Go for it. Next thing we read is an Alistair reader. <laughs> yeah, this actually switch. Like we'll read the title of this book again, and it just says Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> Flip flopping. <laughs> I frown. I felt my heart break into a million tiny pieces. He can't be doing this right now. You don't think what's a good idea? I ask. I don't understand how he could kiss me on my cheek, and then say we can't do this. He's enabling the the behavior. How is it right to just cut it off? I, I don't understand, I say, stepping back until tears, feeling tears fill my eyes. We're not even dating, but this feels like a shitty breakup. Uh huh. You don't have to. I'm, I'm doing this for you. What do you mean you're doing? You don't know what's good for me. I know what I want. <laughs> no, have you seen that? It's like, oh, what's good for me? That's my opinion. <laughs> 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 He says, pausing a moment. At this point, tears are spilling down my face. He looks at me with a sense of remorse. I can't look at him any longer. 
I try to hide my face. I don't want him to see me crying. I wanted to think I'm tough and that this means nothing to me. I can't explain why I have to do this. It's for your own good, he says, walking out the room. I feel myself fall to the floor. Why is he doing this? I clutch my chest, feeling my heart race, and I start to cry. Like, really cry. I know we weren't dating, but when we were together, I felt... I felt like I could be safe. He protected and loved me. I know we had our rough start, but all the times our lips met, it felt real. I just don't understand the dance we shared last night. The kisses in his office, his apology in the conference room, the night at the bar. All of it was just tossed away like it's nothing. I felt happy with him and I thought he felt the same, but I guess it was just a toy to him. Nothing more. I feel the door open and I'm still sobbing uncontrollably. I didn't care about anything in that moment. All I could think about was my own sadness. Gwen, what the fuck are- Gwen? What's wrong? Velvet runs to my side and kneels down beside me. I'm crying so hard I can't man- I can't manage to make up full sentences. Except for his name. She hugs me and wipes my tears with a red handkerchief. I don't understand. This Ooh, back to last night. Fucking bitch! Last Tell night. Tell me what I is, is and isn't good for me. Ooh, you know what? Yeah. Tell me. Let's see if Vox could redeem himself. Yeah, he better fucking redeem himself. Last night in his point of view. Because when I see that cheeky motherfucker... I will, I'm going to bitch slap him. It's on site. <laughs> Well, I never, I never knew I could hear you be violent towards Vox. Right now, I am. Phoenix, this you're is not turning a good into reason. me. <laughs> it's not a good reason, man. <laughs> good night, Gwen. She smiles warmly and shuts the door behind her. I can't help but smile as well. I feel like an idiot. I've never felt this way for anyone like I have for her. What changed? She's sweet. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, what changed? <laughs> yeah, what happened between last night and the next morning? Uh huh. This fight. Yeah. <laughs> I've never felt this way for anyone like I have for her. She's sweet and caring. She's understanding and patient with me. And she's a goddamn smoke show. I can't help but wonder if this is love. This is what love truly feels like. Sure, I've made some shitty mistakes with her. But tomorrow after the show, I'll make it up to her. <laughs> I hate the way she makes me- She makes me want to hold her all the time. She does things to me I can't explain. But for some reason, I keep running back to her. I put my hands in my pockets and begin walking to the V's headquarters. Everything went wrong tonight was suddenly gone with a one gorgeous smile and... Just looking at her calms me. I don't regret anything I did tonight. It was all for her. Vox, I hear a static voice call my name behind me. I immediately roll my eyes into the back my screen. This stupid motherfucker just won't leave me alone, <laughs> Willie. What the fuck do you want? I say, looking back at him. I hate this radio fucker. <laughs> How is what is the absolute fucker count of this? I have a proposal for you, he says, with that stupid fucking grin on his face. <laughs> I think he slapped the shit out of him, but I think back to Gwen and calm myself. A proposal, huh? He definitely wants some he definitely wants something to do with Gwen. It's funny that he could think he thinks he could take her from me. I have to admit, it's quite flattering how badly he wants to. I decide to entertain him for a bit before fighting back. What kind of proposal? We start to walk down an alleyway to not be seen. You leave Gwen alone, and I won't hurt her. Or, you keep toying around with her, and she's gone, he says straight up. Damn, he got right to the point. The fuck? I'm not leaving her. She means everything to me. What will you do to her? I don't underestimate the words. He <clears throat> I don't underestimate his words because I know he's the type of man to go through with everything he says. He's manipulative and fucking stupid. I just had to test him anyways. You don't do shit, Radio. You don't do shit. Radio isn't gonna win. You sn I snark- bleh. I snark at him. He chuckles again. I fucking hate his stupid ass smile. Oh, Vox. You don't want to know what I'm capable of. I suggest you just follow through with this deal, or I'll make both of you wish you were dead. He laughs crazily. Shit. Gwen's point of view. It's finally time for the show. I'm standing backstage, praying that Vox is in the audience, but part of me is also hoping he is. So 
I can show him what he's missing. I've never felt the revenge driven in my life. Velvet introduced the show and everyone starts to walk. People are clapping and cheering and then I come out in my first outfit. I saw Vox in the center of the first row. He looks pissed off. I smiled and put all in, put my all into the performance. Every time I come out in a new outfit, I feel sexier and sexier. Didn't deserve. He didn't deserve to be pissed off. He's the one who called every. He, he's the one who called everything off. I have a small break before my final outfit. This one was the most extraordinary and extravagant. I was excited to see his face when I come out come out in it. He'll regret everything that just happened. I'll get some people. I get some people's help to breach the zipper in the back, and I put on my heels. Soon enough, I'm backstage getting ready for my entrance. Music changes, the lights dim, and there I go. I feel like I'm on my fire. The spot lights up on me. I feel like I'm shimmering in the light. It follows me everywhere I go, and I feel the confidence radiating off me. I see everyone's eyes on me. I bet they didn't expect this from me. Never the type of person to be in the spotlight, but now I am, and I love it. Suddenly, the lights start to fr flicker, and the music cuts out. I feel the stage shake a, a little underneath me. No worries, just a tech issue, I guess. Keep going, Gwen. Oh no, what could be the problem? Oh shit, if it's Alistair, I swear to god. <laughs> I did, but, like, he literally did what he was supposed to, so... Yeah. Hopefully not. I stand in the middle of the stage, posing and faking a smile. I got a, I got a feeling deep down in my gut that something bad was about to happen, but I try my best to squash the feeling and carry on until things start to fall. The sandbags and the lights and the curtains come off the hooks, and everyone, and people start to scream like horror movie screams. This isn't good. This is definitely more than a tech issue. This is so chaotic. Everyone is running out of their seat. Getting out of their seats and running around, and I would try to as well, but I, I can't run in these heels, and the stress is weighing me down. Another spotlight falls beside me, and fire ignites and engulfs the stage. I'm trapped and surrounded by flames. The red and orange colors begin to climb up my dress. I try my best to put it out, but to no avail. Everything burns. Sweat is dripping down my face, and I can't take the pain any longer. I hear someone yell my name. I call for help, but I hear something creaking, and... It's hinged, squeaking, and suddenly a loud snap. I look up, and the top of the stage is falling towards me. I suddenly feel a wave of numbness wash over me. This is the end. I picture Vox's lips on mine and close my eyes, ready to be taken from this horrible world. I never thought I'd be so ready and calm when death comes knocking at my door, but here I am, and everything goes black. Oh damn, I'm not actually dead? Damn it! <laughs> oh my god, we're either not dead or about to be double dead. Yeah. Actually, the only way to kill a sinner is with angel weapons. If they, like, quote-unquote die, they kind of just, like, respawn. But... <laughs> it's not a pretty thing, because it's, like, grueling, uh, long process to kind of, like, put the body back together, so... Yikes. Yeah. It couldn't be me. Can't be dead. <laughs> Can't be killed. <laughs> Alright, fuck, what's the name of this chapter? Awake. Alright, you think we're gonna be awake? <laughs> huh? It's, the chapter says awake, you think we're gonna wake up? <laughs> Maybe. No, we're gonna be in a coma. Damn. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Wouldn't it be the easiest way to get a sinner out of a coma is just to, like, kill them and then they just respawn? I mean, yeah, but it wouldn't be pleasant. Yeah. I mean, it's better than being in a coma. <laughs> well... I don't know, I've never been in a coma. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready for factor- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a sharp pain rushes through my body. My mind is foggy, and everything burns and itches. I hear a faint beeping and buzzing in the background. Do are we actually in a hospital? <laughs> Breathing in- I breathe in the crisp air from where I am laying and slowly open my eyes. Oh, I'm wearing a bed, okay. I I appear to be in a bedroom, an unfamiliar bedroom. I look around to my right and notice I'm hooked to a machine. I'm wrapped in a cream color, in cream color bandages. To let them know someone's sleeping in the chair. Stop. Wait. What? I think the author's European. British. <laughs> the how, author. Wait, how can you tell? 
Because it's the way they spelled color. They spelled color with a U. And only those Brits spell it with a U. <laughs> you call them Brit out. <laughs> How dare this bitch be British. It's okay. We'll forgive them. Yeah, forgive. <laughs> forgive, forget. <laughs> live, laugh, love. <laughs> Vox? Keep calm and carry on, you know? <laughs> yeah. Vox? I say quietly, with a bit of a rasp in my voice. He didn't look very peaceful while he slept. He was sitting up in an uncomfortable position and had his arms crossed. He had a frown plastered on his face. I looked to the window and saw it was dark out. Hmm? Vox slowly woke up to the sound of his voice and noticed I was up. Shit, Gwen, he said, springing up from the chair and, and running to my side. He gently brushed the, the hair out of my face and kneeled kneeled down beside the bed. Why does he care so much, huh? Just, you made a deal with Yeah, fuck you, you Vox! <laughs> Give me Velvet here. <laughs> Where, where's Velvet? Yeah, this is- uh, You know what? Fuck, fuck Vox. We're marrying Velvet. She Yay! cares about us. Yeah, she did. She's a rebound. <laughs> no! What do you mean, no? <laughs> We're not rebounding with Velvet. We- <laughs> Fuck rebounding. We're just marrying her. She's the Yay! best. She's way better than Vox. What happened? I asked, my voice so low and raspy. He frowned and looks away before sighing, sighing quietly. You got hurt real bad at the show. I broke a few lip. What? The oh, I broke li ribs, not limbs. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, burned your arms and legs. I broke my. <laughs> you know, I just kill Dang. me. I'll respawn. <laughs> Dang! What's it? Glass bones and paper skin. <laughs> every afternoon I break my legs, and, and every morning I break my arms. <laughs> yeah, you got pretty cut up as well. You'll be out for a week. Damn, a week? <laughs> Shit! Who's been doing all my work? Uh, who? What happened to my part of the company? I'm so sorry, Gwen. I no, you didn't. <laughs> Everyone ran away! Yeah, fucking yeah. Howard. Yeah. Howard! <laughs> I try to protect you, he says, grabbing, grabbing my hand, begging for forgiveness. Then I remember he told me for the show. All the memories came flying back. Why did you have to leave me? I felt a single tear run down my face. Everything still hurts. I would- I would like, push my own hand back and be like, If you care so much, why would you say all of that stuff backstage? <laughs> Yeah, fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say those things backstage? I early mutter out of my- out with those words. I need to know why. He looked even more distressed than before. He's gonna hurt you, Gwen. I didn't want that to happen, but now he did. He did this to you and it's all my fault. Yeah, he did it! Like, he stayed away! He did it anyway! <laughs> did it anyway. <laughs> yeah, Alistair, what the fuck? Can't keep a promise! Damn. My heart race picks up as he says this. I can tell something. I can tell because the machine starts beating faster as he keeps talking. I was a little scared. I was worried about Vox and my safety. Who, who did this? I asked, sitting up a bit, trying to adjust to the information. Alistair. I f felt sick to my stomach. Alistair crashed the show and almost killed me. I thought we were friends. I shouldn't have trusted him so easily. And why does this have to do with Vox and I's conversation in the dressing room? I don't understand. Why would he... Vox cuts me off and explains everything. I didn't want to leave you, Gwen. He threatened you, and he did it anyways. Vox sounds like he's sweating by tears. I can't help but feel like this is my fault. How is it our fault? Honestly, Gwen, stop having self-doubt Gwen... yourself. Gwen... I, that's a rich tone from you, but you, you, you're right. You're valid. I'm gonna take a sip and pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> I love you. You're so funny. Wish you said it and left. <laughs> also, can, can TVs cry? Oh, shit. You, you know, the, 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 the water emojis can go down the screen. <laughs> I was thinking, like, you know, like, sprinklers and whatnot? It's like a sprinkler, like a little mist that comes out. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. I have a question. Yo, I have a question. 
You know, there's that, you know that one clip where Vox and Valentino are making out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How does he? How does he have a tongue in that scene? He's a, you know, he's I mean, a television. It, it, it came out, you know. 4D. Oh, oh my, my god. god, 4D. So he can cry if he's. If, I think he has saliva. That's so there. funny <laughs> though. <laughs> and that's so funny. Like the the water just drips down the TV screen. Yeah. It like it like you see it drip down, go in the crack, and you see him like malfunction because the sensors are water. <laughs> It's like that fucking vine is like, so he broke up with me? Why are, why are you looking up? I, I need to cry, but my foundation was $38! <laughs> but instead of he cries, he just fucking malfunctions for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. He hurt you and it's all my fault. When I thought you were going to die. We're, we're not a, like an imp. If, if we die, we respawn. You guys act like this is the end of the world! <laughs> He admits- We don't have the memories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the concussion that we have. From that stage light falling on us. <laughs> I feel betrayed. Alistair is always so kind to me. He is always- He was always there for me when I needed him, and now he tried to kill me. I put my arm out in front of me and start to cry. Oh, how could he do this to me? I truly cared about him. I want to say, Alistair would never hurt a female. He would hurt men. <laughs> yeah, Alistair's a man hater. Yeah, <laughs> he's the biggest man hater ever. Yeah, he protects women. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's gonna be okay. How are you gonna say it's gonna be okay? My ribs are broken. <laughs> I'm burned. I have like third degree burns. What are you on, Box? <laughs> My collar burn is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Fox sitting next to me on the bed. He held me while he was sobbing. I felt safe in his arms. I wanted him to hold me forever. I sat up and wiped my my tear-stained face with the bandages and looked into Vox's eyes. He's ca he cared. Vox? Yes? Please don't leave me ever again. He puts a hand on my cheek. I won't let anyone hurt you ever again. Yeah, fucking leave up to the promise, please. <laughs> I like how the first, like, the, the chapter we started on was, like, 2,000 words, and this one's only, like, 600. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. No. I, I feel like that. Not everything can be perfect. Yeah, in sure, perfect right. sequence. Alright, well, how, how are you feeling from this? I'm feeling good. I'm not sure if I forgive Vox yet, but, you know. Yeah, he better fucking, we need a, a Vox better, redemption He arc. better step up. Yeah. He better if, step if up. If we don't get a scene where Velvet slaps him in the face for being stupid. Yeah. He better step up or he better fucking like step down, bro. <laughs> he better step it up. Wait, I know like Alistair tried to kill us and whatnot, but honestly, he's still an option that's on the table. <laughs> you know what? You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> God, what is wrong with us? We need therapy. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? That, that, that was pretty decent. I, I like that. It, it gives us a little pot armor. And whatnot. So, I can't wait to see how Alistair's gonna try to kill us next time. <laughs> <laughs> also, if he made a deal, why would he bother killing- Like, why would he kill us anyway? I mean, did, was the deal, like, implied? Did they not shake on it? Did I they guess, not sign anything? Maybe it was implied. I don't know. But then I, I guess he's. I guess maybe he didn't, he didn't see them go backstage and actually like say like, hey, this this is not working anymore. <laughs> he thought he probably went backstage to go get more. And he's like, ah, oh, this motherfucker, and then he just try to kill us. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of things. Thinking's hard to do for the first time. <laughs> hmm. All right. You know what time it is though. Time that the wheel. wheel? Yeah, the wheel. Woo! Right. Oh, we have so much stuff on this wheel. Yeah, we do. How many, how many chapters is left of that Vox X Reader? Uh, a couple. Okay. I want. I just wanted to ask, just in case we need to take off it from the the wheel for a little bit. All right, let's let's see. That'll be fine. Yeah, I swear to God, if it lands on Phoenix's choice again, I'm going to blow a gas. That'll be so funny. That'll be so funny. Oh! Alright, more hazard shit! Let's go, bro! 
Husker dust. Husker dust. Husker dust. <laughs> Let's go. Hopefully I can find one that isn't listed mature for obvious reasons with angel dust, so... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's probably. We gotta be good real one. careful with those two. Yeah, we gotta. We gotta get someone approved. <laughs> also, we gotta make sure we find one that is suitable. Man, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Should we have a backup we just in case? A backup of a backup? Yeah, of like, of like, if we cannot find an angel dust X husk that is not very mature because the whole like angel bliss's backstory and like the events that play out in mm -hmm, that said mm -hmm. book should we just should we just spin one more time so if we can't find anything then we'll read something else um oh shoot what oh dang wait never mind i got excited and Damn. <laughs> did you find one that like wait a minute this is great never mind first no fact. it's because the, the, well, the tags the tagging system it said husker just fluff and the first one that shows up is one that's fluff and smite. Oh, okay. And I was like, hmm. And then it's also tagged angst. I don't want angst. Let yeah. Angel be happy. I thought you love angst. I like angst when I ha It depends. It really depends. I don't want angst for Angel, though. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, well, how about we just have an emergency spin? So if we can't find a book, we'll read this, that second option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hopefully something. Don't, don't give me the fucking Vox X reader right now, please. It, we need a break. Read it, read no. it. Yes. Okay, oh wait, Sanji, hey, bro. Sanji's the next Sanji. option. If we can't find an Angel Dust X husk that is appropriate for this audience. We will read a Sanji X reader. All right. I like how you go appropriate for this audience. Like we haven't, we like we, we didn't read some of these. Me hot things. That one. Like looking back on it, that one was really well written. But I was, was. just we just we weren't, we just weren't prepared. Yeah, we're like that meme of like SpongeBob and Patrick, and like uh, <laughs> when they got when they watch the guy get their fucking shit rocked, and they're like, <gasps> I'll see if I can find it later. But they're like wide eyed, mouth open, a game. That that was us reading. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I already have a Sanji X reader ready for for that. Yeah, but. It is if we can't find. Yeah, but that's if we cannot find a Husker Dusk that uh, <laughs> that does not have SA or uh, the, mm -hmm. the R thing. Hopefully, this is going to be a harder challenge than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we'll try our best. I guess you guys will see whatever the upload is, if it's a Sanji or, a, or Angels on there. To my favorite men, mm -hmm. some more than others, obviously, in some ways, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I say some more than others. Where like Angel, like collects so much merch of this goddamn <laughs> guy, so much. Whereas with Sanji, I just have big ass statues. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Hyperfixation, the hyperfixation, man. Yeah. All right. Well, Jolene, thank you for joining, man. I highly appreciate it. This is this is a good one to read. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, I can't wait to see what we find. <laughs> I I've already like almost kind of got one, but I gotta proofread it. All right. And not, I not, like the concept I, though. I allow the proofreading because we have to. <laughs> yes. 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 Mm. Alright, on screen somewhere is a playlist that has other Wattpad book club readings that we've done in the past, and then so a suggested book club reading that we've done before for a book past club. thing. Did I say it wrong? <laughs> he said book club. <laughs> book club. <laughs> it's some, some video that I think is pretty book. good. Maybe it's gonna be hard, I don't know. So I just put random videos in there sometimes. And then thanks Jolene for joining. Be sure to check out all the links in the description for all my little, little links and, and shit. You guys can The read. links and the links. Yeah, the links to links and also to other links. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!